Here I will show you how to create a zip file in Windows 11 and how to extract a zip file in Windows 11. So let's open the file explorer and we'll go to pictures because I want to zip up a few pictures and we'll do a selection of pictures here. So uh, if you don't know how to multiple select, if you there's a couple of ways. If you can click on the first item that you want and if the collection that you want is contiguous, you can then hold down the shift key and while your fingers on the shift key, click on the last item and everything between the first and the last, including those two, of course, will be selected, right? Now, sometimes, as in this case, there's something in the middle there that you don't want, right? That you want to exclude. And you can hold down the control key and click on that file to exclude it, right? Or a series of files. It's a, it's a toggle, right? So if I, I, can, I can click, and then if I click again, holding down the control key, of course, then I'll deselect it and then reselect it, right? So now I have these five pictures and keep in mind that uh, when you're creating a zip file, you could zip a folder as well. So, you know, we could, we could include this folder here. I can control click on saved pictures and that folder would be included in the zip file. I'm not gonna include it in this case, so I will control click to unselect it. But um, it is possible to zip up a whole collection files and folders, right? So once you have your selection in File Explorer, right click on any of the selected items, right? So we're gonna right click and you'll see compress to zip file as one of the options. We'll click on that and you'll see a new icon appears with a zipper on it. And by default, it's going to take the name of the first item as the name of the zip file. That's not always appropriate, right? So Let's call this, you know, PIX4, whoa, if I could only spell PIX4Web, right? And we'll hit return, all right? So I want to, say, put these on my website. I'm going to send it to a designer, and they're going to do what they have to do to get that done, right? So now we have this PIX4Web file that we can, say, attach to an email if it's not too large, right? Say, a uh, typical thing with emails would be, Oh, anything above 20 megabytes uh, would be probably too large for most email systems, right? Um, you might want to use something like OneDrive or Dropbox to send a larger file like that. But let's take this out of this area. We're going to drag this over to the desktop just so we can work with it in isolation. So I've taken the zip file away because now I want to show you uh, how to extract it. So we've created it. Once it's created, of course, you can share it or archive it or back it up or whatever you wanted to do with it. But now what if you've received one from somebody, right? So it's really easy. You save it to your desktop or whatever preferred location and right click on that file and click extract all. And what it will do is in the folder that the zip file is, it will create a new folder with the same name as the zip file. By default, that's how it's set up here. So pix for web is gonna be the name of the new folder. So we're gonna hit extract here. And it also opens that folder that it's created, right? So here we have pix for web on the desktop with those five files, right? Now, if we go back to the desktop view here, we'll see there's our zip folder with the zipper on it. And here's the folder, the extracted folder. So if you're going to do any kind of intensive work with the files in a zip file, this is what you want to do. Extract it and work with it in the folder. Sometimes, however, all you want to do is kind of just preview one of the files. You want to just look at it, not edit it. If you want to edit it, do the extraction and, and edit what is, has been extracted. But if you just want to look at it, you just want to look at one of the pictures, you can double click on the zip file and it will open like a folder, right? So this is actually the zip file that we're looking in right now, not the folder of the same name. And then you can double click on any of the items, right? And it will open up. But it's gonna open up in the same way that an email attachment would. It, a, a copy of the file is put into a temporary folder and that's what you're actually looking at, right? So this file has been extracted, placed in a temporary folder and that's what is being viewed at this moment, right? That temporary file. So if you did any editing and everything, you save that. It's not saving into the zip file, right? 
That's why you don't want to do any kind of intensive editing, etc. Because who knows where that temp file is, right? It's somewhere in the temp structure and it could be cleared the next time you run a cleanup utility, that kind of thing. So any kind of intensive work, always extract your zip file, especially if you're going to run a setup program, right? So if you download a program and they give it to you as a zip file and it needs to be installed, don't double click on the zip file and then try and run setup. That's not going to work properly. You need to extract it, go into the extracted folder and run setup from there. All right. So hopefully this gives you a good introduction to zip files in Windows 11.